Here we're looking at an example of periodizing history. In this example, we're using Italy. And the first big division you can see are pre-Roman Italy, Roman Italy, and post-Roman Italy. So thanks to Zoom technology, we can zoom into any one of these boxes to look at them in more detail. So for example, in Roman Italy, if we zoom in here, we'll see that's divided into early Rome, the Roman Republic, and the Roman Empire. This is just an example, so we're only providing one source. But in the future, we hope to provide different sources of different interpretations of history. Let's take a closer look at the Roman Empire. So what we've done down here is we've represented all the different em uh, emperors with little pictures or statues. So if we go into one of these, for example, and look at Hadrian, Hadrian is also a really good example of how there's really no limit to the kind of resolution that these images can be. So here's a quite large resolution image, which is really just a small part of this uh, map here. And if we look over here, for example, here's a, a panoramic. Vesuvius. And these can really be gigapixel images. And that is, images that are greater than 1,000 megapixels, or 1 gigapixel. So, but again, that's just one small part of this entire document. Another fun thing we can do is we can embed papers. So if we look down here, we've got a paper talking about the periodization of history. This is an entire PDF, and any part of it you can zoom into. And you can do so without any delay of having to scroll you know, through a, tediously through a PDF. And of course, one of the great benefits of figures, you know, they, they remain sharp, but they're also very quickly and easy to browse, more so than using this in a standard PDF reader. High resolution images, again, can take place here we are looking at an outcrop, and if we had a gigapixel image of this particular outcrop, we could zoom down right onto the ground and look at an object right on the floor, in this case the marker. For now though, that's just a, an illustration. And one last fun thing we can do, we go back in this paper here, every paper has references. So here's the references cited of this paper. Um, the tedious thing about finding the edition references, you have to first open them and download it perhaps and open in its own reader. With Zoom technology, let's say we're looking at this paper here, also by Alvarez. What you do is if you spy down here, you see that the entire paper is actually embedded right here also. So without any delay, we can keep zooming. And this is a full PDF in full resolution. We can look at any one of these diagrams if, as, if we wish. And again, we zoom out, we can see it's just a small portion. You can watch it there going away of the original document. And the original document is just part of this historical Italy example.